and the guy who's on the phone turns around and slowly tips his hat like this. And who do you think that guy was? Emilio Estevez, the My Duck Man, I swear to God. And I was like, Emilio! Did I just quote a movie? No. Yes. Today, <laughs> I'll be paying tribute to A Night at the Roxbury, the result of a simple, silly SNL skit that turned into a movie, which I watched and loved since I was nine years old, and continues to be my favorite comedy. When I see this movie, I am as happy as a child on Christmas morning. It's cast, comedy, soundtrack, and popularity is what makes this movie sweet. Will Ferrell and Chris Kattan star as Steve and Doug Butabi, two dim-witted club hoppers who dream of owning a club of their own one day. The cast includes other SNL stars such as Colin Quinn as Dewey the Bodyguard, Mark McKinney as the priest, and Molly Shannon as Emily, who Steve thinks has nice bulbs, but he doesn't mean it metaphorically since her father's lamp store is located to his father's fake plant store. Cameos featured in this film include Chaz Palamentary from A Bronx Tale, who plays Mr. Zadir, a fanny-obsessed club owner, Michael Clark Duncan from Green Mile as the tough bouncer, Elise, Elisa Donovan from Clueless as a gold digger named Camby, Eva Mendes from Hitch stars as a bridesmaid, and Richard Grieco from 21 Jump Street stars as himself. Richard Grieco's appearance in this film is like Neil Patrick Harris's appearance in Harold, Kumar's, Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle. They both save the day, of course. The cast is not only the only thing that creates laughter, but the jokes themselves are entertaining. You can expect pop culture references that vary from Emilio Estevez to Captain and Tennille, from Say Anything to Jerry Maguire, from TJ Hooker to Joni Loves Chachi, and from Cheers to Fantasy Island. You can expect a pile of pickup lines, a set of sexual innuendos, an assortment of awkward moments, and bunches of blunders. You can expect to see head bopping in bathrooms, elevators, weddings, clubs, and yes, Even Dad's car. Every line in this movie is a favorite line. This movie is like an ambulance coming to take you away because you can expect to see scenes that will stop your heart. You can expect to see them hit on bridesmaids and barmaids, strangers and family members, policemen, and credit card approvers. Nothing will stand in their way until they lose their car, their jobs, their girlfriends, and their friendship all in one night. After this series of random events gone awry, Doug is compelled to move into the guest house where there's Cinemax but no HBO. Yet, this doesn't take away their dreams because they're like sleeping when they have them. <laughs> the moments in this movie would not be the same if it were without its soundtrack. It includes sappy songs from the 90s such as Everybody Hurts and Careless Whisper, as well as Euro dance hits that include What Is Love by Hadaway. Everyone recognizes this song as the theme from the sketch or the movie. It is widely popular on the internet, on the radio, and on television. You may all recall the Super Bowl commercial which included the theme song and Chris Kattan um, interjects, stop it! Even to this day, the movie has a following and I'm proud to be part of it. A Night at the Roxbury is one of the funniest movies from the 90s. It consists of a comedic cast, a humorous plot, and an amusing soundtrack. These components add to the movie's flourishing reputation, which is like the silk flower from the Butabi plant store. It will never die. So the next time you have a choice between watching a new <coughs> comedy in theaters or staying home and watching this classic on television, you will know to spend a night at the Roxbury because why would you go out for burgers when you can have steak at home? I'll leave you with a few memorable scenes from the movie. <laughs> Now repeat after me. We can get into the rock spirit. Oh, what was the point of that? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry.